Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm excited to show you how to design a rat race coupler using CST Studio software, a powerful electromagnetic simulation software. Before we dive into the design process, let's take a moment to understand what a rat race coupler is and why it's an important component in RF and microwave engineering. A rat race coupler is a four-port device used to split an input signal into two equal output signals with a 180-degree phase difference between them. It is widely used in applications like balanced amplifiers, mixers, and phase shifters. The basic operation of a rat race coupler relies on the principle of constructive and destructive interference. When a signal is fed into one port, it splits into two paths. These pads are carefully designed so that the signals traveling through them will either add or subtract, depending on their phase relationship, when they reach the output ports. When designing a rat race, several key parameters need to be considered. These include the operating frequency, the physical layout, the impedance of the transmission lines, and the coupling coefficient. So, let's dive right into it. The first step is to set up our CST environment and define the parameters for our coupler. This slide shows all the design parameters of a rat race. These parameters can be calculated by online calculators. We use mtalk websit. Start by opening CST Studio Suite and creating a new project. In the first step, select Microwave and RF from the template options. Select circuits and components. Choose planar couplers and dividers. Choose frequency domain solver for this analysis. In this section, set the frequency range from 1.5 GHz to 3.5 GHz to cover our frequency of interest. Press finish to create the project. In the second step, we'll add the structural parameters into parameter list section. Before starting, go to view in the top menu and active the axis. Now, we would like to define a dielectric substrate. Go to modeling and select brick, then press ESC to show the dialog box. Create a dielectric substrate with the parameters defined.
we'll use Rogers row 4003C with a dielectric constant of 3.55 in the load from material library search to find row 4003C lossy. Now, in the same process, define a ground plane for the created substrate. Let's set the thickness of ground plane to 17 microns. With the dielectric and ground plane parameters set, we'll move on to designing the layout of the coupler. In the following, we'll use the create tools to draw the microstrip lines and ring. First of all, in the modeling section, choose cylinder, then create a circle with defined parameters. Then, through modeling and brick, draw a microstrip line that will form the ports 1 and delta of the rat race coupler. Each transmission line in the structure has a length that is equal with parameter L0. In the next step, draw an orthogonal 50 ohm microstrip line on lines 1 and delta. This line should be rotated to minus and plus 30 degrees to create line sigma and 2. Choose the transform option and select rotate. After that, add plus and minus 30 to the rotation angle in the Z direction. By clicking the subtract button, the circle can be subtracted from microstrip lines. To do that, first select microstrip lines, then press subtract. Now select circle, then press enter. We need to design the rat race ring. In this section, go to modeling, select cylinder, create a ring with inner radius and outer radius defined.
The rotated lines have to extend to the substrate's edge. In this section, zoom in and click on the S button on your keyboard to select two edges of the rotated line. You now need to go to Modeling and define a microstrip line with a width of WO and a length that ends at the edge of the substrate. We can create a same line using the mirror option in the CST, since the rotated lines are in a symmetrical position in the coordinator system. Just select the line, go to modeling, then select transform, then choose mirror. The selected line will be reflected on the x-plane by entering one in the space blank in front of it. In order to make all microstrip lines and ring united, select all of them, then go to Boolean and click Add there. Once the layout is complete, it's time to set up the simulation section. Define the waveguide ports at the ends of the transmission lines. You can do that by pressing the S key on your keyboard to select the surface of a transmission line. Go to simulation in the top menu. From there, select waveguide port. Waveguide ports should cover a space around microstrip lines. As a result, we need to specify some margins in the waveguide port setting. We apply a margin of 5 times HS to the right left, and top sides of the waveguide ports. Moreover, it is important that the waveguide port covers the edge of the dielectric. To cover the bottom edge of the dielectric, we consider a margin of HS. Now, we do the same process to define other waveguide ports. Now, it seems everything has been done. We just need to modify some things in the setting. Go to background section and open it. Everything is good. Open the binaries and select open ed space and click on apply for all directions. After that, go to simulation. Press Setup Solver and click Start to run the simulation. 